Hello fellow 3D enthusiast, my name is Ian, and at the moment I'm working on the shot of adding in a window and reflections where there isn't a window on this car formerly. And I was thinking, with the corners of this window, they don't really seem to be stretching and fitting to the sides of the window. And so I thought, why not just go into edit mode on this object, select a corner vertice, go control H and hook to new object. And now we've got this empty that we can manipulate the vertice along the side here. And you can see, since this mesh isn't just four points, we are going to want to do something a little bit more complicated. What if we could get something that was a little bit more like proportional editing for this object instead of just one vertex? Well, it turns out, if you select the object and look in the hook modifier, there's a falloff setting. And it seems like if you turn this up, it should have that effect that we're looking for because you've got the type, we've got all sorts of different curves we can use, it's got use uniform falloff, but if we grab this empty and move it again, you can see it's still not doing anything, which is just extremely frustrating because it seems like it should be working. So I scoured the internet for about 10 minutes and <laughs> found a good answer to this problem, and it's just fairly counterintuitive. So I wanted to share this technique with you for fixing the falloff on the hook modifier because it's good to have answers out there. So the way we go about fixing this is fairly counterintuitive. If we select the mesh here and go into edit mode once more, we've got the corner vert selected here. So I'm going to go shift S and cursor to selected here. And we've already hooked this empty, mind you. But back in edit mode here, if we select everything and then hit assign, that will make it so that when we go out of edit mode and grab this empty, it will move everything. So now all the vertices are assigned to this hook modifier. And now what we need to do is we go recenter. And the reason I put the 3D cursor here is because it will put that point as the center. So when we hit recenter and then turn down the radius to something closer to a 0.15, now if we move the empty, you can see we've got this nice fall off going on here. And we can change it in the settings here to be more or less of the object. And I don't necessarily think this technique will fix my problems here, but I definitely wanted to send this out to all those people out there banging their head against the wall, wondering why the hook modifier isn't working. So yeah, that's the technique there. So as I've promised, this window tutorial is coming up sometime in the future here. And if you don't want to miss that, the best way to stay in touch is to hop on my email list. Every week on that list, I just send out an email of the tutorial that I post. And if you're interested in visual effects, as a thank you for hopping on that list, I'd like to give you my five tips for integrating your CG creations into live action footage here. And that's a super quick, super actionable tutorial that should help your visual effects to look much better by the end of it. And once again, this is completely free. There's a link in the description if you're interested. So definitely go ahead and check that out. But hey, I'd say we're done here. So I hope you have an excellent day and cheers.